The learning objectives of this section are to familiarise all personnel involved in tank atmosphere control operations with Operational principles of the Servomex OA262 Operational principles of the Recon model 17HC Operational principles of the Recon model GP204 Operational principles of the Draeger protection pump, Acuro and tubes. The physical property that distinguishes oxygen from most other gases is its paramagnetism. This was discovered by Faraday who, in 1851, demonstrated that a hollow glass sphere at the end of a horizontal rod, supported by silk fibres, was attracted by a magnet when filled with oxygen. In practice, in oxygen analyzers, the convenience and sensitivity of Faraday's arrangement is increased by having a sphere at both ends of the bar. This forms a dumbbell, which is sealed from the gas surrounding it. The dumbbell is suspended in a symmetrical non-uniform magnetic field, and being slightly diamagnetic, it takes up a position away from the most intense part of the field. When the surrounding gas contains oxygen, the dumbbell spheres are pushed further out of the field by relatively strongly paramagnetic oxygen. The strength of the torque acting on the dumbbell will be proportional to the paramagnetism of the surrounding gas. It can therefore be used as a measure of the oxygen concentration. The instrument measures volume percent hydrocarbon gases above crude oil by optical registration of the speed of light which passes through air and gas-air mixture respectively. The gas to be measured is sucked into two chambers placed in sequence and equipped with end walls of glass so that the light will pass through. The volume percent is registered on a double scale graduated 0 to 5 and 0 to 30 and is read through an adjustable lens. With Recon 17HC, concentrations of hydrocarbon gases can be measured by utilising the difference in the speed of light through air and through the gas mixture being measured. The difference increases with increasing hydrocarbon gas concentration. The refractive index for a gas in an expression of the ratio between the speed of light in vacuum and in the gas. The speed in the gas will depend on pressure and temperature and the refractive index is normally quoted for a pressure of 1 atmosphere and either 0 degrees centigrade or 20 degrees centigrade. 
compared with the refractive index for the various hydrocarbon gases. The index of the hydrocarbon mixture used by Rican is closest to butane. The interferometer was originally chosen to determine hydrocarbon gases in air. The conditions became more complicated if the interferometer is to be used for measuring hydrocarbon gases in inert gas, as there will be a difference in the zero adjusts for air without hydrocarbon gas and inert gas without hydrocarbon gas. Oxygen and nitrogen have rather similar refractive indexes. But there will be a positive deviation in relation to air when the oxygen content decreases from 21% by volume. If the oxygen content is reduced from 21% by volume to 5% by volume, the reading on the interferometer increases from 0% by volume HC to 0.5% by volume HC. When measuring hydrocarbon gases in an inerted tank atmosphere with an interferometer without the CO2 filter, the reading must be corrected by reducing the observed value by 2.5%. For example, the correct value will be 2.5% by volume HC for a reading of 5%. Most types of instruments giving the concentration of flammable gas in air in percent LEL use catalytic combustion as the measuring principle. Such instruments are usually called explosimeters. A catalyst is a substance which helps a chemical reaction to take place. Explosimeters normally use platinum metal or platinum alloyed with other metals as a catalyst. To make the reaction happen, the catalyst has to be heated to a high temperature. Certain types of explosimeters use a platinum wire as a catalyst and the reaction between flammable gas and the oxygen in the air takes place on the surface of the metallic wire.
The flammable gas to be measured is burned on the surface and the heat generated results in a temperature increase. The model GP204 handheld portable gas detector is a compact battery operated portable instrument used for taking a sample of the atmosphere and indicating the presence and concentration of combustible gas. High concentrations of flammable gas and or low concentrations of oxygen give misleading ambiguous readings and may also damage the catalyst due to the sooty layer that is formed. Therefore, never use the explosimeter at concentrations of flammable gas higher than 100% LEL and never at lower concentrations of oxygen than approximately 10% oxygen by volume. The Draeger gas detector pump, Acuro, can be used with an assortment of Draeger's detector tubes to spot test the atmosphere for a wide variety of toxic substances. The Acuro pump is designed for one hand operation and consists in delivery of a sample draw volume of 100 millilitres. These tubes consist of a sealed glass tube containing a propriety filling which is designed to react with a specific gas and to give a visible indication of the concentration of that gas. A colour change occurs along the tube and the length of the discoloration which is a measure of the gas concentration, is read off a scale on the tube. In some versions of these instruments, a hand-operated injection syringe is used instead of a bellow pump. It is important that all the components used for a measurement originate from the same manufacturer. It is also important that the manufacturer's operating instructions are carefully observed. It is extremely important to ensure that you have the correct type of tube to measure the specific toxic gas. Follow the tube specifications accompanying each tube.